If you drive around many of our South African towns and cities, seeing solar PV generators on house and business rooftops is becoming common. Why is this? What are the implications for electricity distributors? And what does this mean for the future? Renewable energy technology is improving and costs are dropping to the extent that it now provides some of the cheapest energy in the world. All over the world, installations are accelerating and South Africa is part of this global renewable energy revolution. It's inevitable. You cannot really avoid it. It's going to happen either way. So cities have to be innovative. They have to find ways of working with that, you know, because that is the future, really. So you could see that uh, the solar uh, applications from the city of Johannesburg's perspective are increasing. Actually, it is doubling every year. The need to respond to climate change has driven the global investment in such clean, low carbon energy. But renewables are also an important contributor to job creation. This video will show why SSEG does not pose a threat to municipal distributors or to human safety, as long as the right requirements and the right tariffs are put in place. Many municipal distributors have already developed these processes and requirements to accommodate SSEG. They are also developing tariffs to ensure that SSEG customers are still covering their fair share of network costs. So municipal revenue is protected, while at the same time keeping a reasonable business case for the customer. If you have a suitable tariff, there is no threat to municipal revenue. Simple as that. This has been demonstrated in analysis done in over 30 municipalities from around the country. I think a couple of years ago, there was that notion that SSEG is taking up, you know, the, the revenues for municipalities. But I think as uh, time went, municipalities started to understand that this could be a new revenue stream, alternative revenue for municipalities, and this could be a win-win for customers and municipalities as well. In terms of customers being able to even sell back the excess that they have from their SSEGs, and for municipalities to be able to you know, uh, supply other customers using the excess generation as well. So it's not here as the bad guy to the business. Salga and the AMEU have endorsed a set of documentation and processes for use by municipal distributors to allow SSEG onto their networks. This Salga AMEU resource pack, as it has come to be called, draws on years of experience by pioneering municipalities and other experts in the country and is in line with international best practice. Using this resource pack, municipal distributors can quickly and easily be in a position to allow suitable SSEG systems to be connected to their networks. More than 40 municipalities around the country are already doing this. If you would like further support, you can look on the Municipal SSEG Support Resource website, www.sseg.org.za. Most of the resources mentioned in this video are available there. There are free online training resources at www.training.sseg.org.za. You will need to create an account which is free. We also offer periodic online or face-to-face -face training courses on SSEG. Email support at sseg.org.za to be kept informed.